okay, I need to make a video, but I've got no ideas. Although I think I know who does. Alexa, I need a video idea. Gonzo, you should make a video on trap hi-hat patterns. Okay, will do. I'm gonna show you guys how to make some custom hi-hat patterns and then how to transform them into a loop that you could reuse you know in another project so let's start by grabbing some hi-hats and then actually making the patterns all right so i have selected two hi-hats from my drum kit and we're gonna use them to make a nice loop the main one sounds like this which is pretty trappy and the second one is more of an open hand but not really and we're gonna use this maybe once every few beats not as often as the main one so let's actually start by using the first one and then see what we can do with the second one we're actually gonna start off by opening the piano roll of the first hi-hat and we want to use this selection which is the first four bars and i'm actually gonna add a note right here and then i'm gonna go back to the channel rack right click on the hi-hat and then fill each two steps just so we can actually fill those four bars way faster than actually putting the notes in manually let's listen to it and then add some notes as we go if it sounds natural okay so i added like five six extra notes and it's already starting to sound not necessarily unique but overall more active now let's add some rolls i'm gonna start off by adding one in this specific area i'm not sure which one of these two notes i'm gonna transform into a roll but i want to have one before the snare so it's probably gonna be this third note so what i'm gonna do is just make it longer until it reaches the other note I'm gonna press Alt U and this is the chopper. This basically transforms one long note into a roll basically. So maybe something like this and we're gonna play with the velocity so it goes down, something like this. And we can also add a normal note on top of the roll. So it's still maintaining those two steps we just have an extra layer, which is the roll. And I'm also gonna add some extra short rolls. Is everything a tongue twister for me today? Anyways, I'm gonna add some extra short rolls here and there just so we can actually spice this up. I'm actually gonna delete this note that I added before. I'm gonna delete this one as well. I'm gonna make this one two beats long, select it with Control alt u to bring up the chopper menu and then I'm gonna make it like this and get rid of the last note. I'm actually gonna go back and add the note that I removed initially just because of the way it flows and the way it, it sounds. So I'm gonna get rid of these two notes, simply copy these and paste them like this. So now they're gonna sound like this. I'm actually gonna go and add some triplets as well. If you wanna know more about triplets, you can actually follow my last video, I suppose. You're gonna find out more about triplets and some other specific patterns. So I'm actually gonna delete this last note and I'm gonna transform this last uh, beat into triplets. So now it's gonna sound like this. And now to actually create some variation, instead of having the first two bars repeating once again we're actually gonna borrow some things from the first two bars and then put them in a different way in the other two bars so we can actually have a non-repetitive loop kind of i'm actually gonna delete the second half of the third bar like this and we're gonna copy these notes and we're gonna paste them like this so this is gonna stack with the snare so it's gonna sound more bouncy and then for the last bar i want to remove these notes and i'm gonna use the triplets that we've used here and then simply duplicate them by holding shift i'm also gonna create a new roll this time it's gonna be lower just because a low hat always sounds good if used right so let's try and make the most out of it I'm gonna add the note like this i'm gonna make it twice as long compared to the first roll so we're gonna select it Alt U once again and change the time multiplicator like this and let's just create a nice decreasing ramp and we're actually gonna select the second half and we're gonna drag it even more down actually scratch that we're gonna remove half of the rolls basically and one extra note so it's basically doing this thing but at a smaller scale so now let's listen to the whole thing and see what we could change or maybe who knows it's ready to go Thank you. 
now that we're done with the main hi-hat let's actually use the second one and as i said this one could be used as a low hat slash open hat a little bit and we're gonna treat it like one so we're gonna use it like this and it's gonna sound like this And now here comes the part of saving it, of being able to reuse it. You can actually do it in multiple ways. The easiest way of doing it would be by just adding the pattern in the playlist, you know, making the selection and then rendering it. Or if you want to be able to use the same hi-hat pattern, but with a different hi-hat every time, you just got to open the piano roll, click on the drop down menu, file, export as MIDI file or save score as. If you want to use the exact same velocity every time the exact same panning export it as a score because that contains all of the information that a midi file wouldn't normally be able to if you just want to use the same notes and the velocity if i'm not mistaken you can just use the midi but if you don't want to ever change it you can just export it now let's actually test this by using it in a new project okay so we have this project it does have hi-hats but it doesn't have those types of hi-hats those you know active ones let's give it a listen and then drag our new hi-hats in this project <laughs> The beat does hit pretty hard, but it does feel kind of empty without those, you know, spicy hi-hats. And now all we gotta do is simply just drag them inside FL. And also, since I made those on 120 BPM, this specific project is on 125, we do know that it was a 4-bar loop, so all we gotta do is just double-click the file, right-click the time knob, and then 4 bars, and also right-click the pitch knob and reset, so we still have the same pitch. And now... If we loop this and we start playing the beat. It does make a difference and you can use this with a lot of a lot of projects and it does save a lot of time once you make a a few patterns a few nice hi-hats whatever you want to make you can reuse them later and it's going to save you a lot of time and that, yeah that's it. it that's the only thing that it does it saves it a lot of time but yeah that's about it with this video i hope you guys managed to learn something from it and i hope you guys can save up some time in some later projects by using this method yeah it was a boy ganso and i'll see you guys in the next one alexa end my video bye bye beaches <laughs>